Hey there, welcome to this first Resolume and Friends video. This is the start of a new series focused on combining Resolume products with products from our friends all over the globe. In this first episode, we are taking a look at Hypno, made by Sleepy Circuits. Hypno is a pocket-sized video synthesizer, which is great for creating generative visuals on the fly. The small form factor makes it a great little tool to add to your VJ setup. So let's hook it up to Arena and see what it can do. I am using an Aja UTAP capture card to get the HDMI video from the Hypno into Arena. In Arena, I will select the UTAP from the sources panel and drag it onto an empty clip. Hypno outputs a standard definition video stream, which is 720 by 480 pixels, but it upscales to 1080p, which suits me fine for this composition. Note that Hypno can also connect over NDI, but using a capture card was more convenient for this video. Now that we're all hooked up, it's time to start playing. During this tutorial, I will have Hypno's help mode enabled. This simply means that text is shown when I change a parameter. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of my actions throughout the video. Hypno operates on two mirrored shapes. This translates nicely into its design. The left knobs control the first shape and the right knobs control the second shape. And the two center knobs control how they interact. The topmost knob polarizes the shape. The second knob rotates the shape. The slider repeats the shape. The button under the rotation knob changes the shape. The top center knob is a bipolar controller for the feedback gain of the shapes. The bottom center knob controls the hue. And finally, the middle button controls the type of feedback the device uses. Oh yes, dear viewer, there will be feedback. These are just the basic controls of Hypno. But before we dive into modulation, feedback settings and eternal patching, I just want to put on a jam, start tweaking and throw on a couple of effects to get the party started. Great stuff, but so far all the animation has come from Arena. Let's have a look how we can animate the shapes of Hypno to get more complex results. By holding down the button of a shape, you enter a state in which you can animate the parameters. The rotation parameter becomes a rotation modulator. The polarization knob becomes either a polarization or scroll modulator. The other two knobs control the fractalization of the shape. There is a lot of complex mirroring fun to be had there. It's pretty awesome. You might have noticed that other buttons lit up either green or red when holding down a button. This indicates whether that shape or the feedback is fed into those targets. By default, both shapes go into the feedback loop, but you can play around with the routing to get more control over this. Now that we understand the basics of animation, let's have another little jam with Arena and Hypno. We are getting some interesting results from the Hypno already. I thought that these patterns could be really useful as masks. So let's load up a couple of clips and see if we can create some masking patterns with Hypno. To get started, I will set the layer to mask mode, one layer below. This means the output of the Hypno will only mask the next layer in Arena and not affect what is below that. 
I will also throw a threshold effect onto the Hypnose output to get a more clear mask. During the demo, I'll be switching the threshold on and off. Let's get masking. As promised in the introduction, there will be feedback. Hypno is pretty good at creating feedback-driven visuals that make your itchy glitchy heart skip a beat. The image can be further enhanced in Arena by using effects like bit reduction, RGB offset or just straight up distortion. To edit the feedback, we need to hold down the feedback button and twist the knobs. This is how we control how the feedback is modulated. There is rotation and rotation modulation. There's X and Y offset, there is feedback U-shift, and there is feedback zoom. Let's put on another gem, this time a little rougher. That was pretty cool. So far we have been using the Hypno as an image generator. For the next segment I want to use the Hypno as a video processor. The Hypno supports capture cards and webcams that are UVC compliant. Here I have set up the Hypno with a basic webcam plugged straight into the USB port. For now I have removed the B shape from the output. The general controls when working with an external source like a webcam or a video feed remain similar to a normal source. The input can be rotated scrolled and even fractalized. The frequency slider can be used to mirror repeat the input. The U can be shifted and the feedback knob can be a feature just by itself. I found the blue stable glitch feedback mode to work really well with the camera input. Allow me to go full video artist for a bit by pointing the camera onto the projection output. That was really nice. Let's wrap up this video by getting wire involved. I will use the output of this video synth I made in wire as an input for the Hypno. I am running the patch in Resolume Arena and I have mapped some MIDI controls to the parameters of the source. The output is kept simple by using the default full screen output. I am using a Blackmagic ATEM Mini to get the output of my computer into the Hypno. The HDMI output of the Hypno is sent to the projector. Let's have some fun with this setup and wrap up this video with a little jam session. We are happy that Sleepy Circuit wanted to be our friends for this first ever Resolume and Friends episode. Make sure to check out their website in the video description below. We hope you had fun joining us on this little journey and I'll see you in the next one.